I am so happy you're here with me to draw today. Look at our fun, festive llama we are going to make. <laughs> He's so cute with the Santa hat. All right, I am drawing with a Sharpie marker, but of course you can draw with a pencil or crayon, whatever you want to do. And remember, you can draw it once and then you can always do it again and it's going to get better and better the more times you do it, okay? We're gonna start with those llama's eyes. I'm gonna come kind of in the center from top to bottom of my paper. Let's give those llama eyes a nice big circles. And I'm going to add that curve, kind of like the letter C, inside with a little circle inside that. That's going to be the reflection. So since I have my marker, I'm going to go ahead and fill that in. You can wait until you start to color or you can grab something and color it in with me. And remember, you can always pause, especially at home and, and work at your own pace. Okay. Next, we're going to add that long oval that holds our llama's nose and mouth lines. Now the nose is an upside down triangle, but we're going to round those spots that would usually be pointy on a triangle. Okay. And drop down a line and we're going to make the kind of like a J letter J and I'm going to go right back over that same line, bring it down and then a backwards curve, backwards J curve the other way. All right. Now let's make this fluffy fur of our llama. So I'm just going to start on this one side and go to the other side too. Some of my curves might be bigger. Some of them might be smaller together. That is called variety when we make them a little bit different. Now, right, let's stop right above <clears throat> the eye line. And that's going to give us that area to put our Santa hat. Okay. Let's come over here on this left side and draw like an upside down V. And it's kind of slanted a little bit on mine. Yours can be whatever you want. And I might add a little bit of a curve to look like that, that fluffy stuff is coming, coming up in front of his ear. <laughs> fluffy stuff, meaning his fur. Okay. Next, I'm going to make this Santa hat on top. Okay. Now think of this like a long oval, but we're going to make those same little curvies to make that shape. Okay. So I'm going to just curve that line and bump into that ear to stop. Next, we're gonna make that, my Santa hat, I've run out of room at the top. I don't have a lot of room. Maybe you have more room, but my line for that edge of that Santa hat is just gonna curve and it's gonna go off of the paper. Now, Yes, for some reason I have a lot more, I had a lot more room on this guy. Hmm. Okay, so we're going to just make it work, right, you guys? I'm going to come, let's act like we're going up and around and then back down. And I'm going to leave that, I'm going to have just a little room for that poof that happens at the end of that hat. Now this, come back to this bottom of the Santa hat, the fluff of the Santa hat, and we're going to curve a line in and then it's almost where that it folds. So we're just going to come back down. <laughs> and our Santa hat is done. All right, next we're going to add these fun lights. So we are going to make, it's almost like our little llama is wearing a necklace, but we're going to zigzag that line. I'm going to curve it a little bit 
I'm going to go just from one side to the other, sort of in a diagonal like direction. And these lights, we're going to add just a small rectangle on top of that line. And I'm just going to spread that out first, just so I know where my lights are going to go. Now, if this one's on top, I don't want to have one on top there. So I might, I might have more room coming down this way. And we're just going to go sort of from top on the top and on the bottom and spread those out and that one might just need to be on the top too okay so let me show you this on our lights we can think of it like let me do this in pencil we can think of it like an oval shape if you want to do an oval that is totally fine my lights are going to come up and around and they're going to get a little bit um, they're going to curve almost like a point, but I'm rounding that and then I'm going to curve it back down. So it almost reminds me of an egg shape. So it's going to be a little bit rounder at the bottom. It's coming up at the top and then I'm going to round it back down at the bottom. Okay. So these, these are fun to make and they can be as big or as small as you want. We'll just fill those in and you can pause the video or you can speed it up and you can do yours however you want and remember you can always try it again and you're going to know exactly what you're going to do and we can um, do it again and again and they get better and better, you guys. Your drawings always get better and better. Okay, I'm gonna add just a few little lines that maybe look like that fur. Give it a little bit of a detail in there. All right, I think our llama's done. Now the coloring is really what makes it pop, obviously. So you guys can use your crayons, you can use colored pencils, you could even do crayons or colored pencils for the small areas. And then you could paint, if you have paint at home, those big background areas. You could even add different things around your llama. Maybe your llama could be smaller and you could add some different fun holiday things around them. Whatever you wanna do, this is all up to you and your imagination. So I did add a very faint, pink paint and then I watered it down a lot in just a few spots to give it that look like it's got a little bit of a color for his her fur okay so you can always play around experiment and stretch that imagination and it's going to be amazing I hope that you loved drawing this llama with me if you did like and then you can subscribe to my channel and you won't miss anything. We're gonna do some more fun holiday drawings, so stay tuned.